Hey there, rock stars. Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here. I'm in, still in Key West, and I'm going to teach you how to play Red Red Wine. And so you don't get the tie today or the pretty, um, pretty face. I don't know if it's ever pretty. But here we go. This is Red Red Wine, originally done by Neil Diamond, but this is the UB40 version. Um, I'm going to show you some bits and pieces about this. Obviously, I'm outside, and you might hear neighbors and stuff, so just hang with me. Um, capoed at the 6th fret today, and the chords we're going to be using are G, C, and D. Okay, if you don't know these chords, then you need to go to yourguitarstage.com and get the free ebook that I've created for you to teach you about guitar, okay? So, here we go. So, using G, C, and D. And I'm looking at my lyrics here on my little iPhone here. So, here we go. It's going to go basically like this. I'll show you the rhythm in just one moment. i got to give it frame here. Okay, so it's going to go red, red, white, goes to my head, makes me forget that I still need her so. It's a little musical part. I'd have thought that with time, thoughts of her would leave my head. Well, I was wrong, and I find just one thing makes me forget. back to the top again. So, basically, that is the whole song in a nutshell, so you'll have to kind of go along with me here on this, but basically the chords are G, C, and D. Uh, so when it gets to I'd Have Thought, it's basically a D chord. Don't um, go to the G chord right away, because a lot of people do that, and that's not the thing to do. You need to go to the D chord there. Okay, um, now real quickly, let's talk about the strumming rhythm, and you will have this song and ready to go. Okay, so what I like to do on this is I like to um, hit the bass note with my thumb and then take my other three fingers and hit, you know, well, I have four fingers. Uh, that's a, my fourth finger, but um, I don't use it for this song. So what I do is I hit these high notes like this. And if it looks like my middle finger here is deformed, um, it's because it is. Um, so, so you're going to go... Uh, Okay, this guitar is not very well in tune with the humidity here, but so you're gonna go like um, I'll break this down for you. So you got one, two, three, four. So basically on the one and the three you hit the bass note and on the two and the four you hit these high notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And if you don't want them to sound extended like that, then you would mute it like this. So on the on the two, I mute the chord like this. With my left hand. If you need help with left hand muting here on YouTube, type in your guitar sage. That's me. Left hand muting. I'll teach you about that. Uh, so the second chord, same thing. And the D. Get it? That's pretty easy. Super easy. Okay? So you got the song now. You'll just repeat that. It's There's no other sections for this song. That's totally it. So if you've got these chords, you've got it down. If you need more supplemental help with guitar, make sure you go to yourguitarstage.com. Hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. I have a great free course out there on Udemy. That's U-D-E-M-Y. 
uh, link is below in the description of this video. If you need help in any way on guitar, let me know. I'm here for you. That's my job. That's what they pay me to do at YouTube. They don't pay me anything. I do it out of love. Okay? So there you go. Uh, stay and neuter your kitties and dogs. And just be kind to of folks. Golden rule. See ya. Practice your guitar.